I'm fishing with a new rod today. This little fella, this is the Tiny 10. I got this on Black Friday, during the Tiny 10 Black Friday deal. It's about $35, normally I think it's about $50. Not an expensive rod. As you can see, very small. It literally fits into my pocket. It's also quite stiff. It's not a lithe and willowy and bendy rod. It's a pretty stiff little rod from the testing that I've done. And so I'm hiking now up this road. I've hiked this creek once before, a couple years ago. It's a 20 or 30 minute walk back to where I'm going to be fishing. But I'm heading toward this creek and to this particular spot on this creek because this is where I've used a little six foot rod in the past. There's a beaver pond, at least there was when I fished it before. Who knows what it's like now? These things change. But there was a beaver pond with just a lot of foliage and growth around it. And so it was hard to fish with even like a seven foot long rod or eight foot long rod. And so at that time I was testing out a couple different cheap little Chinese, like $10, six foot rods. And as soon as I got this, this is the first creek that came to mind. So I'm gonna head to that spot. I'm excited to be back in this creek, excited to do some fishing. Should be fun. Okay. I'm at the bigger beaver pond. Perfect. So last time I was here, I think I just kind of kneeled right here, kneeled right below the pond, and then did bow and arrow casts into the water from there. Because again, look at all the at all the overhead branches here. You can't really fish this normally. So let's try this. Well, this is a little bit worrying. No interest yet, after a few casts. There were quite a few fish in here last time. Lots of cutthroat trout. Just looking for some movement in that line. Looking for movement that I don't cause. Looking for it to tighten up a little bit. That, I think, must have been a fish. The line moved quite a bit. But there's no weight on the end when I pulled back. Oh, yep, that was definitely, definitely a take. Come on. This is very stressful fishing. Again, it's such close contact. And I'm so close to these fish. Got one. Oh, it landed on the beaver dam. Okay. Well, it was a lot of work to get this little fish. I've been at this for 15 minutes or so. I mean, I certainly did not feel this fish on the line. And normally you don't. Like, normally you, you see a take uh, by watching the line. But even when I, I saw the take and I set the hook it was still kind of hard to tell that I had a fish on because that rod is so stiff and here's our baby little cutthroat maybe four inches long it's better than nothing I'm happy the best rod I've used in see a fish in this size class is the uh, the Shimotsuki Kiyotaki 180 but it's it has been hard to find it comes in and out of stock on eBay you can give that a, a look up if you're interested. Well, got one fish in the bag. Not easy fishing, this. I'm going to stay in the same spot here, fish for another five or ten minutes. Then I'll move over to the left, fish over there, and then move over right and fish over there. Fish on. Yeah, again, just super stiff little rod. Just not great for 
four inch fish. Pretty fish though. I have to say, this is fun. <laughs> it's a different kind of fishing. It's not really Tenkara, but man, it keeps your attention, I'll tell you that. Got one. Oh. Nope. Oh. Had some interest. Saw the line tighten a little bit. Oh, yeah. There we go. Fish number three in the bag, in the net, with the tiny 10 and this is the biggest one yet I think it's about five inches see ya I love these little trout there's beautiful little jewels these are native trout these are Bonneville cutthroat trout I'm in Idaho there aren't a ton of places in Idaho where these fish are and so it's kind of fun for me to, to be catching these in Idaho this is the state fish of Utah they're widespread in Utah. I've also caught them, well caught one. I caught one of these fish in Nevada and I believe I've also caught them in Wyoming, if I'm not mistaken. When I did the Wyoming cut slam. It's hard to keep track after a certain point. Got one. That was the next cast. And that is definitely the biggest one yet and it has barely any spots. Wow, what a unique little fish. It's about eight inches long and at this point we're getting into a, a fish that is an appropriate size fish for this rod, I think. Look how there are no spots on it. Very, very few spots on this cutthroat trout. What a strange and beautiful little fish. Skinny, but beautiful. Bye, fish. That was weird. All right, let me fish in this spot a little bit longer. And then I'll move over to the left like I said I would. This is just too fun. Got one. Nice. Very, very nice. Another little baby, four or five inches, but another beautiful fish. All right, let's go over there. There's enough space over here on the left side to actually cast. I don't think this rod is gonna cast especially well. Again, because of the stiffness, but let's give it a try. Oh my gosh, it's a broomstick. And I got my line all caught up, all tangled. That was me lobbing it. That wasn't really a cast, just a, a lob. Again, I don't know if I can really cast this, but in most places, if you need a rod this small, you're gonna be bow and arrow casting it anyway, so I'm not surprised. I'm not really holding that against, oh my gosh, I cannot, <laughs> cannot cast this thing. But imagine fishing with a rod that doesn't bend or rather casting with a rod that doesn't bend. That's, and that's basically what this is. And I'm tangled again. Even when I do have the space over here to properly cast, it's just, it's just easier to bow and arrow cast this thing. Okay, well, I've been over on this left side for about 10 minutes. No action, no bites. Can head back over onto the right side now. There's a little patch of flat ground here. Again, branches, 
all over here, so a longer rod would not work. Oh, fish on. Decent, decent fish. Wow, that was my first cast over here, and that's the biggest one yet. Definitely the fattest one yet. Might be the same length as that ghost fish with no spots, but much fatter. Four and five. It's actually eight and a half, nine inches. So this is the biggest one yet. Four, that's about eight. A little over eight. Maybe eight and a half on a good day. Very nice fish. This is more of what you'd expect a cutthroat to look like. Smaller spots kind of on the top and toward the head. And the spots get bigger. And there are more of them as you move toward the tail. Beautiful. Well, first cast over on the right side of the pond. It came from like right in here. Well, I fished over on the right side for another 10 minutes or so. Didn't catch anything after that first one. So I have come back to the middle here where I caught all those other fish. Fished here for about five minutes, haven't caught anything else. So I think I'm gonna call it here. But I caught six or seven fish, which to be honest is more than I thought I would catch. Had a great time, it's a lot of fun. Very different style of fishing, very different kind of fishing compared to what I'm used to, but still fun, still really fun. As for the rod, as for the tiny 10, I don't think this is something that the majority of Tenkara anglers out there need. I think that if you've fished a lot and you've got an 8 foot rod or a 240 centimeter rod and you find yourself running into limitations with that, then I think maybe go down and get this, but I don't think that this is something that you need as a first or second or third or probably even fourth rod. And even if you do need one this size, I mean it's so stiff, it's so stiff. Even the what I call the generic yellow bamboo rods, the ones that you can get off of AliExpress or Amazon for a few dollars. Even one of those is softer and I think better than this. So, you know, do what you will with that information. It's fun, like it's a really cool little rod. And I remember when I first got it, when I opened the package, I thought it was just a, such a fun little thing, just a beautiful little object. It's like a, it's like a Tinkara souvenir almost, but it's not that great as, as a Tenkara rod. Again though, if you found yourself running into limitations with your longer rods, sure, buy this rod, give it a shot, it's cheap. Uh, just know what you're getting into and know that um, it does work, but there are better options out there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna get out of here. See you in the next one.